So the uh, original color of the strips is, there you go. So there's the P, these are the PS strips and that's the color chart. And so if there's a color change, that means that it has one of these substances, either mercury, chlorine, or some other type of um, um, chemicals added to the water. So that, that's the original color of the strips. So this is the very first one. And this right here, let's see if y'all can read that. This is the boiled tap water. If you guys can see the, that the strip turned a very dark green color and there's actually um, blue, some type of blue dye that's actually coming out in the water. And that's for the boiled tap water. Then we have this right here is just the tap water. So this um, is the tap water. Now with the tap water, if you look at it closely, you're going to be able to see that it turned a darkish um, yellow color and that and it has blue spots on it. That's the top water, blue spots on it. So that's definitely indicative of some type of chemicals in the water. Next, this is the uh, filtered water using a Brita filter. This is my pH strip. Um, this is what the strips look like. As you can see, this is the filtered water using a filter. There's some type of yellow residue coming out of it. There's some type of yellow residue coming out of it. That's the filtered Brita water. And the very last one is the bottled water or Zorka. The or Ozorka bottled water. And as you can see, um, there's actually some type of yellowness, yellowness coming out of the water. And that's with the Orzaka bottled water. So um, all of these waters seem to have some type of um, chemical reaction. But the one that had the, the strongest is definitely the boiled tap water. Followed secondly by the tap water. So those are the ones that had the strongest reactions, which turned a deep bluish color. And then third is the filtered water. There's a lot of that yellow residue coming out of the filtered water. And then so the very best one, even though there is some of that yellow coming out, but in comparison, it's quite less than the filtered water, is the Ozorka bottled water. So guys, when it comes to this water thing, there's definitely chemicals, mercury, chlorine, bromine, all type of different chemicals in these waters. So you guys should just use wisdom when deciphering which waters that you're going to use and when you're cooking. So um, usually um, people that use filters before they cook, I definitely think things like that can help as well. But I would definitely say that um, the bottled water was the best. The Ozarka bottled water followed by the filtered water had less of the chemicals in it. So I just wanted to test the waters out and see what type of things they might have floating around in it. Um, if you guys have any, any type of similar situations, please feel free to comment below. And these pH strips that I purchased... Um, right there with it comes with this is the color of the pH strips and this is the chart it basically measures for different chemicals that are whatever substance you're using to test so these things can be quite helpful if you've been having any type of sort of allergic reactions or bad reactions when drinking your water this definitely could be um part of the issue part of what's going on so i just wanted to let you guys know um, if you guys have any type of issues with your water.